Hey guys, it's Sally Hardesty. If you have not seen my catfish slash my online stalker story time, I'm going to link that below. It's important that you watch that one first so you are up to date or else you're honestly not going to understand anything I'm talking about in this video. So thank you to everyone who's been reaching out asking if I'm okay and wanting an update on this story. So I'm going to do that right now. So after I posted that video, actually right before I posted that video, when I was like editing it and getting ready to post, so those of you who were saying, oh, why would you post the video if you hadn't gone to the police yet, yada yada, the pages were actually deactivated before I even put that out into the public on YouTube. So there's that. And if you guys know anything about Facebook and deactivating Facebook, it doesn't actually get permanently deactivated. I've done it before, so what happens is it takes away from the public eye, and then when you want to go back on the Facebook and reactivate the Facebook, all you have to do is log in with your password. So I'm thinking if they really tapped my phone, they obviously heard me talking about it, texting about it, and they got spooked, so they wanted to deactivate the fake Facebook of me, my ex, his cousin, and all the other people. And I'm like, whatever, because the famous Facebook girl who actually reached out to me to tell me about the page initially, she had said that she reached out to my ex Gabe first, two weeks before she reached out to me because the page had been posting then. But then she didn't think to message me because someone took the page down and she thought she was never going to see it again, like it got reported. But then it came back up. So I'm thinking like, all right, they're probably going to like reactivate it once this whole thing dies down and they think that I forgot about it. I post a video and I go to the police two days later. So the police aren't able to do anything for me. The policeman, he was a little bit older, very helpful, nice guy, but he said basically, oh, you should change your Facebook name so people aren't able to find you. You should just make a new Facebook and start over. And that's not the point of this. Like that kind of defeats the purpose for one, of having a Facebook if you're going to have a name that's not even yours. But I'm like, you're missing the point. I think my phone's being tapped. And he said that we would actually need a warrant to track the IP address even if the page was still active. So I hung up with the officer and I'm not feeling very good about it. I'm just like, I guess there's nothing that anyone can do for me. A lot of you guys have been commenting, telling me to reach out to Max and Neff from the show Catfish on MTV. And I think a lot of the time it's relationships, like online relationships. So that's why I didn't think to do it myself until people started saying that. And they're like, oh, they do cases like yours. Like it doesn't always have to be people who are dating relationships with Catfish. So I'm like, all right. And I sent an application. I sent in to actually just in case to grab their attention. And I let you guys know that. So some of you actually left applications too. So I think that really caught their attention. Like a lot of people were saying, go watch Ali's video, go watch Ali's video. And I don't know if they actually watched the video, but I got a text on Friday from a producer from Catfish. His name's Nate. And he wanted to talk to me about the whole situation. I don't know if he watched the video. I actually was not able to get in touch with him. I was traveling this weekend. I went to San Francisco and stayed with a friend and then I was in Brentwood. So I gave him a call like 20 minutes ago. He didn't pick up, but I'm sure he'll call me back because he said just call anytime or text him. So I did. So I'll hopefully be getting in touch with him soon. But I'm thinking to myself like, oh no, but the Facebooks were deactivated. Like, are they really going to be able to track it? Is there anything they can do for me? And when I get this text, so my ex and I, we don't talk. We had to talk because of this whole situation and it blew up and it was so crazy. And I just felt like I owed him the courtesy of letting him know what was going on when I found out. So that's why I called him. That's why we talked. And so other than that, we haven't spoken, but we said, okay, if more things come up with this, if one of us finds out something then we'll let the other one know. So we both agreed the smart thing to do was not draw attention to the page, not try to add the page so they wouldn't freak out and abort mission and deactivate the whole Facebook because that way we can't track who it is and we want to know who it is. I sent him a screenshot of the text from the producer and I'm like, okay, like finally some answers, you know. The only thing is that the pages, it looks like they deactivated themselves. So I don't know if Catfish can do anything about that. And Gabe goes, oh yeah, by the way, my cousin and I, Cameron, the one they made a fake Facebook of as well. By the way, we called Facebook and had him deactivated. And I'm like, oh, oh, did you now? Really? Like, you weren't going to tell me? Like, I've been so sick to my stomach about this whole thing and you're just going to deactivate it and not even let me know. And that's that ruins our chances of finding out who this person is if you deactivate it. Like, you know that, right? And he's just like, yeah, you know, I just thought it was the best thing because I didn't want to dig deeper into this. My dad said something similar happened to someone else and they got really, really bad. The situation just got ugly and I just wanted to avoid all that. And I'm like, obviously I do too, but we could have like the law enforcement on our side or MTV catfish. Like we're not going to get killed or murdered or like whatever, like this person's intentions are if we like handle this properly. But you going behind my back and calling Facebook and getting deactivated isn't cool. Like this involves me too. You got my page deleted. Like then a subscriber brings something to my attention. And this is something I had thought about, but not really seriously considered. And the more I thought about, it, the more I thought this could be this could be an explanation why he wanted to get the Facebooks deactivated so impulsively without telling me. So the picture that I mentioned in the first video that was posted in the Facebook group with over 100,000 people of a guy and a girl, explicit content, no clothing, etc. They their faces did not show, 
but the girl had tattoos. The girl wasn't me. The guy, it looked like him, but I assumed because the girl wasn't me, it wasn't him, right? That's just what I assumed in my brain, like thinking, oh, it couldn't possibly be him and someone else. Someone said, you know what? What if that was Gabe and someone he cheated on you with? And so that's why he just wants to get the Facebook deleted because he doesn't want things to come out like he's hiding something because if you really think about it the fake catfish page of me was all my real pictures the fake catfish of him was all his real pictures why would they just randomly decide to post one picture that wasn't me or him it would make sense if they got it out of his phone just like they probably did with a lot of the other pictures that were personal on our pages so if they did tap into my phone his phone not my phone if they tapped into his phone they could have found a picture like that if he took one with someone else and when it was if it was when we were dating that would make a lot of sense of why he would just want to not deal with the Facebook thing anymore and get it deleted so I didn't find out worse things. So I have no idea. That's just a theory, but it really doesn't make any sense why he suddenly just wanted the page to get deleted and wasn't going to tell me about it. So I get in touch with the Facebook support people and I talk on the phone with this dude and I tell him everything, what's going on, and how MTV Catfish reached out and he's like, oh, it's crazy. He pulls up the pages. He didn't make them active to the public, but he acknowledged that they were still in their database of everything and he was reading the Facebook to be out loud. Side note, I noticed this after uploading the last video. On my Facebook, it says Allie. It doesn't say Allison. Allison's my real name. So I think that this is someone close to me or who knows me like decently well. They spell my name with two L's. I spell it with one L, Allison. But on my Facebook, it's Allie. So they use my real name, which makes it a little bit creepier. But yeah, he reads the name to me like, is it Allison blank? And he describes the profile picture to me, compares our photos, and you can obviously tell the person was impersonating me. And he reads the email address to me. And so the email I used to make my Facebook, super old. It's the one from Yahoo. And it's like Allie Rar Kitty and like some numbers at yahoo.com. I don't even have the email anymore. This person had almost the same exact email, but with different numbers in the email. Like... They really just went to the extent of making a whole separate email, and I don't know if they did that for Gabe's and all the other accounts, but for mine, they made the email address almost identical. So, just like the captions and everything else they did. So, I'm like, Are, what? What the heck? Like, what? Okay, so, he pulls it up, and he tells me we have a, tech, a Facebook technician who was able to bring back up these accounts, but it's $49 per profile. But then, all the other fake Facebooks, like, the ones that were commenting on our pictures, we were commenting on theirs, like, our friends on the Catfish profiles, I felt like they were pretty relevant in the story, and in the context of how everything looked on the page. So I don't know the names of all those Facebooks and I they were all taken down too. So I don't know if it's worth it to, you know, pay a hundred dollars to get my profile and Gabe's profile brought back up to so Catfish can go look at them. And I'm like, you know what, I'll call you back. I'm gonna talk to Catfish first. So I called Catfish today. They didn't answer, but they're gonna call me back and I'm gonna explain to them what's going on with the Facebook, how Facebook is able to reactivate, but you have to throw them some money and I don't know if that's going to be a problem because I don't know the other names of the other Facebooks or if there's something maybe Catfish could do to reach out to Facebook. So I don't know if for them it's going to be worth it or they're going to be like, sorry kid, like good luck, you know, like we have bigger Catfish problems to deal with. So that's my situation. So he kind of screwed me over there with that and hopefully I am able to get in touch with Catfish today or tomorrow and talk to them about all this, explain it and Maybe there's something they can do for me. Maybe, just maybe. I'm really holding on to that there's a chance that they are able to pull the Facebooks back up and get this taken care of, get it figured out, because the person I think would still be posting if Facebook didn't deactivate their profiles because my ex called Facebook. So that's just an update for all of you of what's been going on. In a recent video, I know I asked, should I make a Twitter? This is why I have not made a Twitter. For those of you who've been asking, did you make a Twitter yet? Did you make a Twitter yet? No, because I'm being stalked on Facebook currently. So I've been a little bit hesitant to make another social media account at the moment. Hope you guys understand, but I will be making one in the near future. I'm planning on that. So when I do, I will drop it in the description box. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for letting me keep you up to date and all your nice comments. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up to support and subscribe below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.